All right, everybody, we are back again to be joined alongside Mr. Sin for the win. And Sin, we are just about ready to go again for our second matchup of this broadcast. And for many, many seasons, we would always say it doesn't get any bigger than this. And these two teams, of course, still looking to prove that this is the top rivalry that we have in our elite division. It is for Lunda taking on Havu, as they have done so many times before. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Frelunda Havu with a twist. This is Flyer Kungen on the side of Frelunda playing against the former team, which he captained for so, so long, led to a couple championships, and now finds himself on the uh, on the team of said rivals for so many seasons, so many years even. And it's going to be an interesting matchup, and this is kind of the big, big sort of test for Havu Gaming here. They had one in the last matchup against Hreds, but now here's the other one. You're taking on Frelunda now. Can you compete with these guys? And can you maybe take some important points and not only work your way back up the standings, but show that you can still contend with the teams that we expect to be pushing for a championship? A look at the standings heading into the action today. Rather unfamiliar set of circumstances for these two teams. For Lunda, currently sitting in third, granted with four games at hand on Feriostad, while Havu on the outside looking in, currently in 11th sin. Yeah, the good thing is they do have a couple games in hand on the on the teams around them, so that gives them a little bit of leeway. The bad news is those two games in hands will now be played against Ferlunda, who are definitely going to be looking to take some points off of Havu here. You know, any way you cut it, this is a rough situation to be in if you're Havu. Still, you know, plenty of season left in. After this matchup, you know, you technically have those, the two hardest matchups out of the way. They played Atreids last week. They'd play Ferlunda right now, but... Points are so, so important, and you want to try to take them any chance you can get. So that's what they're going to be pushing for here against Rolunda. I'm saying, I'm thinking they're looking to at least get, probably looking for two points in this matchup. Absolutely. I mean, some of the games coming up, we will actually see Havu in action again this Wednesday on broadcast. They have Roots, Conquer, HV71, YMCA, and IQ. So, you know, maybe, yeah, not the toughest schedule down the stretch in terms of some of those Big name competition teams such as H Reds uh, and of course for Lunda, as we're seeing here today. We'll take a look at some of the results from around the league as well. Again, after our first matchup of the day, Feriostad and the Fallon Coal Miners. Again, it was Feriostad walking away with wins in both of those games. And how about that sin as well? I mean, Urubro Hockey earning a split over Sawo and again a split between Havu and ZSE Esports. Some interesting results going on. Absolutely. That's a great result for ZSC and Ed Ed Edinburgh as well, man. They've they're really proving like that they're just for real here. Like they're not up there by mistake. They're beating good teams. I mean, beating that Sabo team, getting the split, that's huge for Edinburgh here. And same thing for ZSC, two massive points over Havu Gaming. So heading into the action here, we'll take a look at the team stats as we focus on the task at hand again for Lunda and Havu and for Lunda, I mean, again, strong as ever. The offense is there. The defense is there. Whereas for Havu, it's been that uncharacteristic struggle sin, just in terms of all the changes to their lineup and the defense, the goaltending, not quite up to the level that they were hoping for. Yeah, they've at least sort of settled into a lineup that they're uh, relatively happy with at this course of the season. We, we saw a lot of kind of switching up um, and a lot of guys playing a lot of different positions, a lot of kind of rotations, but they've seemed to settle into it now and found something that they uh, want to compete with. So with that, the lineups in this matchup here for Frelunda, the new front three, of course. It is Playmaker, Eki, and Flyer Kungan. I am still not used to that. I don't know if I ever will be. Potslop and Loimu on defense. Cape between the pipes. And of course for Havu, Pawanso, Dominoiti, and Vilikun, Nasustelia, and Sibelius Hanselino in goal. And we start off at this center matchup, Sid. And for a couple of a couple of seasons there, we were saying, you know, Eki's play style. Maybe it does kind of benefit a, a center role a little bit more. And as he goes up against Dominoiti here and like I said, I think we'll be able to switch to that first head-to-head -head matchup for our two centers here. Uh, when it comes to this particular matchup, I mean, Eki, as you'd probably expect, has been able to hang in there with a good face-off winning percentage that you'd expect one of the best 1v1 players in the world to have. And the point total as well, solid, maybe not quite where you'd expect it to be for a player of, of Eki's stature. Yeah, I think that's definitely fair to say, but, you know, it, it's a quite a quite a different uh, – 
a big adjustment, you know, moving from wing to center, you know, a lot more defensive responsibility, although Eki has always been tremendously defensively responsible. But yeah, it's a bit more of a transition here. Yeah, you know, different positioning, different things to worry about. But he's done, you know, pretty darn good on the adjustment so far. And, you know, playmaker has been able to step up in a big way because of that. You know, on the flip side, Dominoiti, lower point totals, of course, always a great center. We actually saw him play left defense, which just kind of showed you the level of desperation and uh, trying to figure things out that Hava was at the beginning of the season but he's back in between uh uh, uh sorry in the face off dot now and gonna be taking on Eki. the uh, winger a battle as well of course it's our highlighted position you got playmaker and flyer kungan against Pawanso and villi kun and you know Sin, it's one of those things that we talked about for havu you know you have Pawanso, a lot of elite experience he's at a point per game pace villi kun admittedly has fit in very very well as they thought he might up in that wing position, pretty strong point total. I mean, again, the two games at hand for the former right wing of that team in Flyer Kungen, but Billy Kungen's done a pretty good job so far. Yeah, he's been phenomenal on that right wing side. He's really kind of been a difference maker, and uh, hilariously, you know, coming from defense, he's always uh, usually one of the, the the first guys out of the zone to kind of lead the counterattack back the other way as Havu tries to stretch the game out, and that's... Uh, but he's also, of course, you know, very good defensively. So he's good with the skill stick. And speaking of skill stick, that's what to, um, Flyer Kungen brings to the table for Ferlunda. The relentless forward checking pressure and one of the best defensive skill sticks used in an offensive context to force the turnovers that we've ever seen in the ECL. And that's something that uh, Havu Gaming, I'm sure, you know, will have to look out for. But they're going to be unused to it bearing down on them uh, in their own end. The defensive battle here, again, Potsloff, who, of course, dropped down from center to the defense, still at a point-per-game pace, as is Loimu. But look at the point totals across the board. Now, Sin, I know you mentioned for Havu, they changed some things up at the lineup, but still, I mean, it shows the offensive talent that is uh, consistent throughout these two lineups. Yeah, and it wasn't for too long. I think Sibelius maybe has only played defense, or maybe Nasostelia uh, is the one who has always played defense. Nonetheless, yeah, impressive point totals, because it would have been for more than, you know, um, I'd say like four games max that they had those two guys at forward. So the point totals, they are still incredibly impressive from uh, Nasistelia and Sibelius. And of course, you know, Potsoff Loimu doing what they do best, you know, locking things down and still being able to put up the points. Loimu still looking for his first goal on the season, but this is a, a great, pretty even matchup on the back end. And of course, our final head to head, it is the battle of the netminders, Cape and Hans Salino. It's been a, Primetime battle between these two, always up there in the running for top goaltender. But unfortunately for Hans Salino, not the situation he'd prefer right now in terms of that stat line. Yeah, absolutely not. These are just simply not numbers that we expect from uh, from a guy like Hans Salino here. But it kind of is a uh, you know in line with some of the struggles that that Havu has had as a team throughout the course of the season. You know they're. They have a negative goal differential. They're a five, five, and four, just not what they're accustomed to playing like. And unfortunately for Hans Lini, it doesn't quite have the numbers uh, to uh, to kind of bail the team out time and time again. So with that, again, just a few moments away from puck drop, game one of two between these two clubs. And you know, Sin, we we look ahead towards this matchup every single season to see what it's uh, what it's going to be able to bring, what it's going to be able to generate. And looking ahead now to what this means, again, for Forlunda, we've talked about it, you know, trying to stay there in the mix with H-Reds. And that was their goal for this uh, for this season. That was the intent with the acquisition of Flyer Kungan was to make sure mm-hmm. that they could stick with them and compete heading into the playoffs. And, you know, Forlunda, again, right up there in the mix is one of the top two to three teams right now in the regular season standings. For Havu, I mean, you presume the goal is pretty simple, at least make it back into the playoff structure. But with how competitive the league is at this point and with teams like Urubro Hockey and Conquer Gaming really stepping up, it's shocking to say that that is not uh, set in stone. It's not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination. No, definitely not. And again, the bracket just continues to be shaken up season after season here as we see what these teams are playing for. Of course, the... Uh, the 6,000 euro uh, first place prize for the winter already in the hands of H Reds. They're going to be looking for the 6,000 euro in the spring one. And if they do that, they will take home that 10,000 grand final prize essentially for free. 
for Lunda, definitely one of those teams who want something to say about that. And their championship push begins. Well, it has already begun, but really it's getting to pick up steam here in this latter half of the season. Oh, there we go. So absolutely said, I mean, again, it's one of those things that we've talked about that we've really had to wait for all season long. Are we going to have a grand final? This brand new format, our H reds essentially going to, uh, Kind of stomp all over the concept and say, yeah, there's no grand final necessary. It could very well be the case. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I want to say hopefully not because I'd love to see what happens. But at the same time, if A-Treads are able to go as, you know, uh, the triple, you know, three yeah. titles in a row, I'm not going to be upset to see that because that is an unprecedented level of domination. Absolutely, something that we simply haven't seen in the Euro scene ever, and would really kind of cement them with how good Frolunda is and how much you know improvement they've even made to this roster. Again, if, if somehow Atreds is able to do the unthinkable and three peat here, you know, by far and away best team in Europe, and again, a strong, strong argument at that point for the best team in the world here as we take a look ahead at our Monday matchups here, which we'll be covering, of course, uh, tomorrow, 1945 CEST, Stargazing and Conquer Gaming taking each other on, and then a bit later after that, YMCA Esports and the Fallon Coal Miner. So that'll be myself and Tugi back on the call for that. And we have a time, I don't know if we have the graphic up, but we have a ACL Pro as well on Tuesdays. Um, and so make sure to tune into that. Uh, well, King, King Lime and B Major on the call. We're not too sure what uh, matchups we have for that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just constantly throwing the producer under the bus with the graphics that he hasn't quite made yet. The man is busy. And here I am expecting the world and more from him. Imagine the audacity on this uh, on this caster's uh, mind here. Uh, Tugi looks thin. like he's alive again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. As a lack of graphics. I'm getting over a cold and feel like I'm dying. It's you never know what you're going to get on a Sunday. You never know. We'll see if the voice holds on. I I hope, I hope at least give, give me, give me like an hour so I can see this series. That's all, all I'm right. hoping for at this stage. Good Lord. Ah, oh. oh, the two week long cold. It's trying to take me sin, but nothing could take me away from this matchup. Damn it. And nothing could take away from the excitement that'll be there with the Wilhelm e-hockey tour every weekend, of course. Sportsgamer.gg for all the information that you need. I promise these are happy tears. These are great tears. <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, sin. Sin, sin, sin. What a time. You never know. Like I said, you never know what's going to yeah. happen here. In this matchup especially is uh, going to have some great moments in it as, of course, uh, we'll see some great moments uh, from you guys. If you use the hashtag eHockeyMoments on Twitter and Instagram and tag at SportsGamerGG, you have a chance to win some of that uh, IQ fuel. I mean, again, we always love to see the best and the worst. Shout out to Lighten who uh, on Twitter posted one of his worst is uh, he unfortunately got bounced from the... Uh from the GWC uh, not all that long ago earlier today. And uh, one of the game winning goals against a rather unfortunate one to say the least. So even he is getting involved and we thank him very much for that. Sin, we are ready to go. At least I think I am about as ready to go as I possibly can be given the circumstances. It is the first ever, at least in our time covering the first ever example of Flyer Kungan taking on Havu Gaming here in the ECL Elite Division. Tavo, of course, in their home green and black. Polanzo. And on the attack early on. Good movement. That one bouncing around. Playmaker will be able to set all down. Playmaker, you saw. Golden Helmet wear. The team's leading scorer. It is Villicoon actually on the other side for Hava to show just how well he has worked out as a forward for this club. That one bounces around, and Han Salino able to make the cover. Nice little quick play out. Flyer couldn't get a good job behind the net to maintain possession. They just tried to dish that out to Eki. I thought for sure he was going to go around the net and quick pass out front, just clearing the post, but Eki simply couldn't get a stick on it. Off the draw, playmaker. Flyer Kung and he scores! Under four minutes into game one against his old club, the former captain, he gets the goal. 1 nothing for London. 
Wow, you almost feel like that <laughs> that set play was uh, for the that exact purpose to set Flair couldn't get up the score on the for on his former team and beautiful shot right there beating Han Salini who did everything he could to get a around from that but it was a perfect play off the draw the tie up plea maker gets the puck and dishes it over to Flyer Coogan who finishes it one nothing for Lunda a picture perfect way for for Lunda to start this game every fiber of my being wanted to say a picture perfect way for Hava to start this I know. game I know Flyer score it I was like, I said, Flyer, I almost said he puts Havu up. It's just, it's it's like, it's muscle memory at this point. You know, Flyer, Kunga, and Havu. It was just, you know, a marriage uh, is meant to last a lifetime. But here he is on for Lunda and doing quite well. Good job there by Plea Maker. Utilizing his speed. That shot blocked. Asistelia able to recover here for Havu. Great job by Plea Maker. He's off to a tremendous start in this game. Sibelius now, of course, former netminder, a part of a really dynamite tandem, he and Hans Salino, but called upon on the defensive side of things. And, I mean, top four in points amongst the defenders so far this season, as unfortunately they're just offside. Yeah, nice attempt right there by uh, Flyer Kung and feeding that, up one, uh, feeding that one up to Plea Maker. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a step off right there. The timing didn't quite... Uh, line up but if it had plea maker would have had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, opportunity against Tonsolino and simply wouldn't be a good way to start off for Havu. Eki in possession here. Kuga tried to just throw one on. He's missing that poke chick as well. Havu really looking for their first bit of sustained attacking pressure and they might get a delayed call here. Sibelius' pass is off the mark but it will allow Hansolino to join in on the attack, maybe the most dangerous uh, you know, opportunity there, or at least maybe the most dangerous player in terms of goaltenders that can step out. We know how good Hans Lino is, both in a sixes and 1v1 environment. He's in possession there. That pass broken up, and indeed it will be a two-minute power play here. And it will be Potsloff going to the box for this hit, and yeah, it's not really disputable. Yeah, hard to argue with, but... A bit, maybe a bit uh, fortuitous there. Uh, for Forlunda, the way that delayed call kind of dragged out, and especially as it went all the way back into Havu's end, they were able to get those stamina bars kind of recharged for this penalty kill, which is going to be very important here to kill this off against Havu. See what happens. Again, an early clearance there. Havu with the number one power play in the league, going up against the second best PK. The form of Forlunda. So Havu's been very, very dangerous say the least in these instances, but there you see just how good Verlinda happened to be on the kill, not giving them an opportunity to really get going here. Again, still struggling, Sin, to regain the offensive zone. Yeah, you just saw how good Flyer Kungen's poke checking ability is with that stop at the line. A dump and chase now coming up from Havu, but time ticking away. If we get possession here, PD, Puck. Down low into the corner, that pass initially off the mark. Alonso tried to just backskate towards the slot. We are back to five on five. Potsloff involved in the rush there. Playmaker couldn't make the pass. Alonso again now in possession. Again, that opening goal. Flyer Coogan. It is ninth of the season. Let's see what for Lunda are able to do here. On this attempt, Pleamaker finds space, short side elected to pass. And a delayed call again against Frolunda. Not how you would have bet on that situation developing there. As it looked like Pleamaker was going to find the back of the net instead. Abu will have another chance on the power play if they need it. As that one swept off the side of the goal, and indeed they will go to the power play going to be an interference call here against Flyer Kunga. Yeah, that was, yeah, just trying to probably find the puck uh, and get a shot on. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you are to see Playmaker not take the shot right there with an in-tight opportunity with the space that he had. It, you know, I, I kind of feel like that was the time to take a shot. He elected to kind of go back to Flyer Kunga. They don't connect on the pass and then leads to a penalty kill for them too to keep giving Havu these opportunities. It could get dicey. They could tie this one up. We hit the final minute, so obviously the clock ticking down. Uh, 
A little bit more slowly than it typically would. Perhaps gives Hava that little bit of extra time. Dominoiti wins it back. Juanzo, shot scores! Sibelius, the power play tally. We are tied at one. And a great shot there from the defender. Yeah, they're the best power play in the East L Elite for a reason. You see it right there, just quickly get in possession and then those defensemen kind of collapse in and create shorter passes and, uh, you know, less reaction time for the goaltender to adjust. Kits back up top to Sabellis who rifles that one home on Kape. We have a tie game here for Lunda. Getting into a bit of penalty trouble and Havu Gaming capitalizing. A tremendous turn of events there as that shot goes wide. Tremendous turn of events there for Havu to get some momentum back. Again, a look at the opening goal there from Flyer Kunga, but again, Sibelius ties it late. Yeah, and uh, oh, just a tremendous play off the off the face off set play. Eki with the tie up, Pleamaker scoops it up and passes it over. But yeah, again, I'm kind of going back to that play where Pleamaker had a, like a partial breakaway and elected to pass right there. A little bit, a uh, little bit surprising, and that kind of opened the door for Havu again. Flyer Kungan with his trying to find the puck and, you know, maybe take that shot away. Got a bump, which led to an interference. And, you know, that led to the, the power play in which Havu Gaming, Sabellis was able to capitalize on. So a tie game going into the second period here is, oh my goodness. Wow. I think that's Hanselino. I, I actually know it wouldn't have counted as a shot. So it must have hit off uh, the skate of the, uh, the defender right there. It was incredibly close, nonetheless, uh, off that pass from Pleamaker that Flyer Kungan simply couldn't put in the back of the net but you know still kind of more expected to see playmaker take that shot in that situation so we'll see if Ferlunda want to pull the trigger a little bit more here in the second period and try to uh get back on the uh on the right side of the momentum train here second period underway and the power play goal late in the first big save there by Hanselino off of that one timer Late power play goal to tie this one up. Sibelius is tally. Another big shot. That one blocked away. And a chance from the corner. It's handled as well. There is Sibelius. It was his third of the season. Turned over. And another good save by Hans Salino. Flyer Kungen crashing towards goal. Couldn't get a piece of it. Probably really struggling on the breakout. But they find a bit of space here now. Here's Villikun. Pressure coming in. Banks it off the back. Ripped off the side of the goal. Dominoenti for Sibelius, good give and goes there. That shot can't get through the traffic in front. It will be Flyer Kungen to lead this one out, weaving his way around the defense. Finds Moimu. Over for Potsloff. Good cycle now for Fulunda, taking their time. And quick shot there by Pleamaker. Again, not able to find its way. Interesting moment there. Kape forced to make the save off of an error pass. Yeah, Loimu just trying to go behind the uh, net right there uh, off the board so that Potsoff can get it. He just uh, cut it a little too close and it hit Kape's pad and he had to get the cover there. Off the face off. Possession for Fralunda. Playmaker, the big move, the shot he scores! A vintage plea maker goal there, Sin. The quick cuts, the speed, absolutely deadly. Two to one for Lunda. And a beautifully timed pass from Flyer Kungen to set that all up, allowing Plea Maker the time and space to make that happen. He shot it a bit, like just say a hair earlier than a lot of people would shoot in that situation, which had a lot more space on that far side for him to capitalize on. And he did just that for Lunda. Take that lead back. Two to one after a beautiful goal by uh, Plea Maker. Great work there, Plea Maker. Second in the league in scoring entering today. Now up to 15 goals on this season. One-timer save, rebound, Cape. Expertly handled there to keep that lead intact. Beautiful sequence by the Frilunda net miner. Makes the initial save a tough one from the DDD one time. Was able to get back to cut off the short side as well for the follow-up opportunity. A couple big saves right there to keep this one goal lead intact for Frilunda. Frilunda in possession here now. Flyer Kungen, big head of steam, tried to protect the puck around the back. Now Sestelia was able to bump him off. 
Good movement again. Eki picked off by Billy Coon. Great read. Give the game the line as well. Loose puck. Dominoiti. Still fighting for it. Good job by Potts off to handle it. Playmaker, good puck protection. Just eight and a half minutes to go here in the second period. Pick off by Playmaker. Aki has Flyer Kungum with him. Self pass there. Loyma can do. Gets it to Aki. Tried to go in front. Good job by the defense to break that one up. Playmaker wanted that wrap around. Did an extended animation there. Just couldn't get that quick wrap and the puck all the way back to the front of the zone. Yeah, but they're maintaining possession here and they're beginning to uh, really get the advantage in that regard here as unfortunately they turned it over there but the four check from Pleamaker and uh, Flyer Coon coming out and making that breakout tough. Billy Coon, bit of space, shot, scores! Dominoiti finds the loose puck as Kape was down and out and Havu tie it at two goals apiece. And that one came out of nowhere, but that's how quickly Havu can strike. Yeah, it really did. I mean, it seemed like they were, uh, you know, just trying to set that breakout out and, or set that breakout up, excuse me. And then out of nowhere, they just seemed to be able to find some space that we didn't really think would be there. I mean, maybe a little lackluster defending uh, coming out from Falunda throughout the neutral zone. Villikun just utilizing the speed, getting a shot on, an unfortunate bounce for Kape. And uh, Dominoichi just cleans it up. Good blocker save there. Consolino, it is Rolanda right back in on the attack after surrendering that goal. Eki, great block there. 9 the 1T chance from Potsla. They make it for Loimo again, it's blocked. And a delayed call one more time against Rolanda. Havu's already 1 for 2 on the power play in this contest. And again, they will wait for Hansolino to get out there with under two minutes to go here in the second period and it's broken loose there but again third power play chance of the day interference it'll be plea maker going so three different members and yes and i think again maybe thinking he was going to get the puck and yeah didn't so ends up with the hit yeah it's unfortunate but I mean, it's been called that way you know all, all kind of all year with nhl 22 but yeah this is kind of uh, what you don't expect here from Finland. A lot of penalty trouble here early on. They're tied for the third least, but they've taken three in this game alone. Sucelia circles around. Sibelius had that power play goal. They have time to work again late in the period here. Might be able to turn the tides. Get to lead in this contest. Era pass there. Just couldn't time it with Sibelius gaining the line. Dominoiti. Over for Villicu. Goes around the back for Pawanso. Good patience. Another pass from Nasostelli off the mark. Final five. Sibelius looking block. Nasostelli a one-timer save. Rebound was broken up. Great job by Loimu. And we will go to the third period. Tied at two apiece. That was close at the end there. A big save coming up from Kappa, but you said that rebound bounced right over to where Puanso was lurking, and Loimu's positioning was good, and he was able to kind of scoop that up and prevent Puanso from having a tap in, and from Havu taking that lead here. Some scary moments for Ferlunda. They are still tied, but getting into penalty trouble, and Havu threatening to take the lead in this one. If you look at the records, you'd think Ferlunda has the distinct advantage, but in this matchup, Havu really able to be able to you know, take advantage of their opportunities and capitalize when they can here. It is still 2-2. Two two. For Linda, you know, have a bit of carryover time to kill going into the third period. They're going to want to respond here, get some offense going. And, I mean, the most important thing is to just to be able to stay out of the box. The penalty trouble is really kind of, uh, you know, stifling their own momentum here. And it's really, that's the majority of the zone type that Havu's been able to get is on the power play. Their other goal, of course, coming off of the rush, so... If Ferlunda can just clean that up here, they should have that uh, the advantage on the ice in the flow of play. And that's something that when Ferlunda has that, they are a dangerous, dangerous team and really rarely lose when, they have, uh, when they're in that sort of situation. So see if they're able to do that after they kill the remainder of this time. Third period underway. Surprise, surprise. Another close game between these two. Of course, they met. In the postseason, we might have a drop situation here, though, unfortunately. 
Those two teams, then they met in the postseason. It was a, as close of a sweep. It was as close of a sweep as I think it ever could have been mm -hmm. uh, with those two teams. But at the end of the day, indeed, we have a lost connection, mm -hmm. and there will be a restart. We'll see how the teams elect to handle that. Um, you know, you never really know what you want to do. Some teams prefer to go to the third period. Uh, just to make sure that real-time final minute is there. So, again, we'll update everybody once we know in terms of how the two teams want to handle this. But, Sin, I mean, you know, you look at how that was playing out. I said it, you know, the playoffs as well, always super close between the two teams. And yet again, looking like a close matchup here. Yeah, I mean, two-to-two two game. Uh you know, it was a great, great start from Forlunda getting that early goal. And you almost kind of winched like, uh-oh, are they going to be able to open the floodgates here early on? And is this match maybe not going to live up to the hype? But it was good response coming out from Havu. Forlunda took that lead back, but then got into penalty trouble once again. And, you know, Sibelius able to capitalize on it. But this play right here from Playmaker was so, so pretty. Off of the pass from Flyer Kungan, who has two points in this game, a goal and an assist. You know, really doing well so far against his former team. But this is... A breakdown really in the defense of Ferlinda that you didn't expect. Excellent job from Billy Kuhn just using the speed and able to get a quick shot on, which created a hectic rebound that Dominoid was able to follow up on and tap in. You know, maybe uh, the recipients of a, a favorable bounce right there, but it was really a good counterattack from a seemingly a breakout, which didn't. We, it didn't look like it would create a chance like that. It looked like Forlunda had everything locked down. The four check was coming out strong. They had you know three men back to prepare for the defense, but. You know, just quick skating from Billy Coon opened up the tiniest bit of space to get that chance away and make that happen. And you can see from the numbers, you know, for Linda having the advantage time on attack and, and things like that, but shots relatively even. And of course, Havu Gaming, most of their kind of time and attack coming from the power play. So for Linda can stay out of the box uh, for this third period. I think they'll, they'll really be in good shape. Absolutely. So with that, we'll throw it to a brief little break here while we wait to see what happens upon this restart. And we'll be back with the third period and of course game two still to come between these all right everybody so we are back again a big thank you for sticking with us we are going to continue on here with game one of two between Ferlunda and Havu Gaming of course in a 2-2 scoreline heading into this third period and what has been a rather close and competitive game of course as you see on screen as well we always want to remind you instagram and twitter share your best or worst nhl 22 clips using the hashtag e hockey moments and uh yeah maybe some disconnects might be involved in some of the worst moments and uh unfortunately happens from time to time but sin there you go the teams are on the ice do you think this restart will benefit one side more than the other perhaps um not too sure i mean it's always kind of tough to say here but I think both of them are going to be willing to come out ready to go and well for Linda with some early zone time here. Absolutely. So again, the score technically a 2-2. There are at least no concerns there about being worried about an aggregate score. You basically know it is a tie game. Here comes Viliku. That one's broken up. Abu still in possession now. Polanzo takes the hit. Teamaker walked right over. Bellius in possession. Of course, he has a goal in this game. The dump and chase to the far side. Polanzo trying to chase that one down and does. And Sin, another penalty coming up against Falunda. An uncharacteristically uh, poor disciplinary record for them in this one, for lack of a better term. And this is Loima going to the box now. So uh, everyone but Eki has sat for two so far in this one. Uh, Playmaker, Flyer Kung, and Potsloff and Loimu now. And... Yeah, they need to kill this off, but they also need to stop taking penalties. Yeah, I think you said it best. Completely uncharacteristic. I mean, the third least penalized team. Let's see what Havo can do. Fourth power play of this game. Big save by Kape. Loose puck scores! Pawanso pounces on it. Three to two. Havu Gaming, their second power play goal of the game. And that makes them two for four on the uh in this game and wow just absolutely perfect execution right there quick pass up the shot on net and then everyone collapses you see you see them all coming in Puanto attacking dominoiti attacking billy coon even coming in that's just perfect execution on the power play after the shots taken from the point from everyone to crash the net right there picture perfect havu gaming take a 3-2 lead here in the third period up by one 
Huge goal there. Pawanso's seventh of the season. And Havu in control here in the third period. Shot on and a stop by Kape. Again, a reminder, both teams were okay with this, that in the real-time final minute will not be in effect. They didn't wait it out until the third period. So, a little bit less time for a team to work with if they were to be trailing down the stretch. We'll see how Fernanda respond. Trailing for the first time here in this game. Good pick off there by Pawansa. And on again, off again with Havu. We know he's an elite level talent. Showed it there with his positioning and IQ to be able to pounce on that loose puck. Loimu does get it back, has it at the point, looking. Fire Kungan shot. Great block there by Sibelius. Puck back to the neutral zone. Good job there by Havu. Controlling their blue line rather well. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do right here. You know Ferlunda's going to be pushing, so that blue line control has to be on point. G to D one-timer blocked down by Flyer Kungan. Big stretch pass, and again, Sibelius is there. Solid game for him so far. Nasu Stelia gains the zone here for Havu. Back now, Villicoon sends it all the way around. So for Dominoite. The very least precious time ticking off the clock here for Forlunda. Just over eight minutes to play here in this game. Yeah, this period has really flown by a bit too quickly, especially if you're on the side of Forlunda. I mean, you're quickly approaching that five-minute mark, and you really haven't gotten any good chances to speak of. Botzloff for Flyer Kung in the spin. Tried to go back. Pawanso intercepts. Six and a half to play for Lunda. Have to get a breakout going here. Looking for that bit of space. They find it. Playmaker unable to hold on to a great job again by Sibelius. Flyer Kung in good patience. Potsloff right back to him. That shot in the glove save. Nobody in front of Han Salino. He saw that one the entire way. Yeah, maybe hoping for a rebound. That was a lower shot aiming for the right-hand side. Had a couple bodies there, but swallowed up by Han Salino. But finally, a little bit of pressure from Ferlunda and a shot on net. Off the draw. Ferlunda in control, at least momentarily. Playmaker can't hold it. Lico knocked him off. Pawanso stick lifted. And a penalty called again. Havu. Dangerous moment there, but Havu will be going back to the power play with three and a half to go. A slashing call against Loimu. Wow, I mean, not a bad place to take that stick lift. The hand in this was correct. That was a right-handed player, and it's just unfortunately caught the hands. And the fifth penalty taken by Frelunda in this one, and their discipline is really, really hurting them right now. And Havu gaming another chance. This would did all but put this game away if they're able to capitalize on this opportunity. They've been great on the power play. Two for four in this game here. And if you're Fralunda, this is one you're going to look back on if you if you lose this. And you're going to just see a huge, huge missed opportunity for two points in this one. They look, they've looked good it's in so many ways, but just the penalties that they've taken have been their doom. Here we go. A, a big moment in this game. A lead for Havu. Technically again 3-2 to two after the restart. About the second game coming up between these two. Havu right now. Got to play it smart, but also wanting to find that goal that could seal the deal. Lose puck. Dominoiti one-timer. Great block by Potsloff. Billy Kuhn wasn't able to find the net there. Fleamaker looking, shot, save. Flyer Kuhn going to be able to hold on to it. Great job by Billy Kuhn. Four on two. What a step up by Playmaker. Remember that play. If Rolanda are able to tie this one up. That one sauced on net. On Salino able to handle it. Dominoiti trouble with Playmaker. We're back to five on five. That shot blocked. Now Eki. You can go with Loimu. That pass going to go all the way down to Cape. And again, Sin, the clock is fast. Have Frelunda run out of time. Sibelius battling down low. 
Still trying to hold on to a penalty called. Havu to the power play again with 5.6 to go. Flyer Kunga to the box with a slash, and that should do it. Just desperation right there, trying to get that puck back, and they take yet another penalty, the sixth minor penalty in this one. Five seconds left, barring a crazy miracle here. That will do it. With 5.5 .5 to go. There is the faceoff. Pleamaker with the puck. He tries to shoot it on. It goes wide. Havu Gaming pick up the win. 3-2, to two, your final score over for Lunda. And a quick leave right there. <laughs> or maybe a disconnect from Hans Zelina there. Interesting kind of moment, but uh, yeah, there's the stats. Uh, I mean, that's just kind of... Uh, kind of nuts man like for linda an uncharacteristic to say the least amount of penalties six minor penalties and that's what really did it to him every you know two out of three goals scored by havu came on the power play that's something that they have to clean up for the second game here and i i don't know what to say about that that's just a for linda team that really kind of shot themselves in the foot and that's not something that you can say a whole heck of a lot about this squad but that's really what just happened and havu did what they had to do to capitalize on it the best power play of of the ecl coming into this matchup and they were given chance after chance after chance by for and they did what they needed to do they come up with two huge points absolutely so again a huge result there for havu we'll talk more about it in just a few moments we'll take a a brief step away to give you a word from our sponsors to set the stage for a very interesting game two again after Havu walk away with the victory in game one. All right, everybody, we are back again. A big thank you for sticking with us here. Sin first game of two in the books between Havu and for London again, Havu you know, in the past certainly wouldn't have been an upset, but again, entering play today for London in second Havu in 12th. Got to call that first win an upset there for Havu Gaming. Absolutely, and it really came at the uh, came at the expense of uh, the discipline of Ferlinda. Six minor penalties in that game, two power play goals for uh, for Havu Gaming. I mean, granted that sixth one was really at the tail end. So really, Havu went two for five on their power play, which uh, a bit, it's it's a little bit better than their se season percentage, which is at thirty percent. The top power play. And for Linda just kept giving them chances every time for Linda seemed to be getting some kind of a pushback, like, or getting the momentum back, which they really had throughout the first half of that game for Linda was really all over them. Most of Havu's time on attack came from the power play, but again, for Linda just kept going back into the box and they, they couldn't continue to establish the momentum and be able to get goals off of it. They had some good chances, but most of the time it felt like they just kept going back to the box, back to the box. And it just, not exactly a winning recipe against any team, but especially against a Havu team with a lot to prove and the top power play in the in the division. Yeah, I mean, again, you mentioned it, you know, tied for the third least amount of penalties for Forlunda heading into the action today. And that lack of discipline certainly came back yeah. to haunt them. Want to take a look at some of the, actually, no, we don't even have time to take a look at some of the recent results. We want to take a look, though, at what we have in terms of builds here, Sin, maybe nothing surprising. Playmakers down the middle, puck moving defensemen on the wings and on defense. Going to be very intriguing, uh, very intriguing to see what we see from Forlunda here after, again, what is just their third loss of the season, only their yeah. second in regulation. Yeah, that was just, again, really uncharacteristic kind of performance from Forlunda. We you definitely don't expect to see that sort of thing in any sort of matchup, but. They really kind of let that let that get out of hand there, and they're going to try to respond here in the best way that they can, of course. And we'll have to see. Havu's got to be feeling good after that first game here, and if they can continue that momentum, I mean, what a massive, massive upset that would be if they took four out of four points. Again, tomorrow, Sid and I will be right back here. Again, 1945 CEST. Stargazing, one of our new teams from the Pro Division take on Conquer Gaming, one of the big surprises of this season as YMCA Esports will take on the Fallon Coal Miners. Both of those teams starting to get towards the territory sim where they are in desperate need of some points. So some big games on deck tomorrow. Sin and I will be right back here with you for that particular set of matchups. Again, Sin, our week four coverage is insane as that is to think. We're already 
in week four. As always, we uh, we equate it to, uh, you know to a to a roller coaster in a sense. You know, fast, a lot of turns, and then oh wow, that, that was it. It was over before you know it. And what a way to start off! Twenty four seconds into the game, Potsloff with just his third of the season. And I guess we know how Forlunda are going to respond. Oh my goodness, what a start right there. And in the celly, I saw someone not wearing a... Oh, because he did the uh, the clay pigeon celebration. I was like, why is someone missing a glove? They don't come off. There it is. He uh, bots left celebrating with the clay pigeon. And yeah, why not, man? Just the first possession. Forlunda jumping out to a lead. Beautiful pass by Flyer Kungan to Potsloff, who gets that one-timer off. And it's a good start for him for Linda here. Let's see if they can continue to... Uh, to trend in the right direction and again stay out of the penalty box and again just 24 seconds in trouble for Hanselino playmaker threw that one on and it is Havu in control here again that game one victory but all of a sudden now playing from behind again huge hit there will be for Linda right back in control What Loimu can do on this breakout, and again, just this timed offside call here. It's a good start, and they're, they're you know, kind of, kind of hesitating though to really, you know, kind of give the advantage to Ferlunda. I mean, they, they, again, they played so, so well, but they got to prove in this one especially that they, they can stay out of the box because, again, Habu Gaming didn't have a whole lot to offer. A couple good counter attack plays, but they couldn't really establish themselves in the offensive zone by well, a little bit to do with plays like that. Excellent poke by Loimu and Ferlunda coming back the other way. Valius, good job there, feeds Villacoon down that left-hand side. That's where he likes to go, has options, down low, Pawanso back to him, loose puck in front, Domino, anti denied. Great look, great save by Kopik. Good forechecking pressure here from Havu, keeping this possession alive, another shot saved again, and Kape will be forced to cover. Good save by Kape, keeping this uh, one goal lead intact and getting the cover, slowing things down a bit as Havu is trying to get a bit of a pushback here. Good face-off opportunity for Ferlunda to be able to break this out the other way. Here's Ferlunda in control. Let's see what they can do here again, trying to gain the zone. Easier said than done. Well, we've seen now, Sin, for both teams, they do find that space. They are they're tempted to capitalize, more likely to capitalize. Obviously, it's just so difficult to find that little bit of space. Nervous moment there for Kape in an offensive zone draw coming up for Hava. Interesting bounce off the boards. He had to kind of be sharp on that one here as we approach the midway point in this period. Still the one nothing lead intact, but Havu beginning to push back just a little bit. So what happens again on this face off? Shot by Polonso, stopped again by Cape, testing him early. Shot by Billy Kunin again, looking for that rebound. Loimu, all over it on that occasion. Lunde able to get that puck out. Here's Playmaker. Fires one on. Hansley you know, quickly plays it out. Billy Kuhn trying to defend. Put too much pressure there. And 24 seconds into this game, the opening goal for Potsloff and for Lunda. Lacoon can't hold it, Potsloff has it again, sends it up the boards. Got playmaker, bit of space, finds Eki. Flyer Kungan at the point, back down to him. Good cycle from the boards, playmaker the big spin, Potsloff back in. Eki on the doorstep and a good save by Hanselino. And took a quick whack, whack it on the doorstep. Nice bit of down low cycle from Ferlunda. Not the cleanest opportunity out of it, but in tight nonetheless. And to get an offensive zone draw, chance to kind of continue it. Face off again, another win for Ferlunda. Puck turned over though. Good movement. Pawanso shot, save. Cape again gave up the rebound. Defense bails him out. Defense there by Sibelius. Five minutes to play. Here in this first period. They dump to the far side. Lemu able to pick that one off. And not much really going for either side here. Going to get in the more consistent offensive attacking time. That puck bounces around. Not too many threatening opportunities though. 
two and a half to play in the first. They make a rockets that one around. Ecky. Good cycle, but can they get the shot? Markunga recovers along the half wall. Ecky. Playmaker down low. Kicked out to the half wall. Here's Loimu. Tried to go D to D. Unlucky break for Villikun. Couldn't pick that one off for the breakaway as he probably deserved. Final few seconds. Polanzo for Sibelius. Villikun back in front. Again, more movement. Seabay's shot doesn't go. And a one to nothing lead. Four for Lunda. The end of the first period. Wow, what a play by Villikun right there. A perfect read and almost was off to the races. He's probably shaking his head wondering why he couldn't pick that puck off cleanly. He would have had all the time and space in the world on that breakaway, but fortunately for him and fortunately for Havu, they now trail at the end of that first period. one nothing off of that early goal, 24 seconds in, coming from Potsloff, one time from the point. We'll get, we'll get a look at the stats there. Pretty close, all things considered. Again, though, we knew that Verlunda had the better of the attacking zone time, sir. Yeah, and they definitely kind of sustained that for the majority of the period as it went in the first game, despite, you know, you know, Havu getting a lot back from the power plays. It really was Verlunda dominating the five-on-five -five play. So if they could stay to that, keep the five-on-five -five play, they've got an excellent chance here in this one to pick up a big two points that they definitely are going to want. And Again, you may have felt like they at times deserved a better fate in that first game, but they just kept getting into penalty trouble and they couldn't really settle it down. Just one thing led to the other. I think four of those calls were like interference and two others were uh, uh, infractions off of stick lifts. So, you know, just some bumps, but I think we just had another drop. So we're going to get that reset and see what they're going to want to do. Maybe start on the... Uh, the first period as it is treated as the second, or maybe they'll just let the first period run. We do apologize here as we're having a little bit of a, you know, uh, connectivity issues, and we'll try to get that reset for you guys as quickly as possible and set the stage for this coming second period. Absolutely. So I think it'll be for the best. We will throw it again to a, a brief break, and we will be back when we know uh, how exactly we'll move forward with this. All right, everybody, we are back. And again, a big thank you for sticking with us. Reminder, tomorrow we will be back, hopefully with uh, with less restarts, stargazing, and conquer. We also have YMCA Esports, and again, the Fallon Coal Miners in action one more time. So, Sin, as I understand it, we will be continuing onward just as we did the last time out. It is a one to nothing lead heading into the second period for, for Lunda. And last time we said, would the restart benefit anybody? It did seem to benefit Havu a little bit more. Might that be the case again here? I'm not entirely sure, but could you know, couldn't hurt after a goalless first period. Yeah, and uh, definitely for Linda looking like a pretty good team. They started off that period, you know, in a in pretty good fashion too. A couple chances here and there for Havu, but uh, for the most part, for Linda trying to continue where they left off, dominating the five-on-five -five play, and so far so good. They've stayed out of the box here, but... We'll see what happens with this reset. Perhaps uh, some 200 IQ plays coming out from Havu. Absolutely. So, again, we are ready to go. Again, the action underway. And a one to nothing lead as they did elect to even up the score so that everyone was uh, on the up and up. So, here we go. Second period now. And again, we will see what happens. Just whether or not Havu are able to kind of get back into this one again after a great. Uh, first game of victory as Flyer Kungen throws that one back on. And it is stopped. Again, the key for Ferlunda not take as many penalties so far, so good. Yeah, I think that's really their only key in this one. When it comes to the five on five play, they've been getting the better of this match up here. So they just got to keep on that and continue to play good defensively. This one is knocked back to the neutral zone. Ferlunda entering play today. In second place in the elite division, of course, making changes to their lineups this season. Preparation for a challenge against Atrans. Again, now our back to back champions. They've met for Lunda in the last three finals that we've had. It's still a shocking kind of turn of events in how things have evolved in the elite division. 
Yeah, absolutely. The bracket, especially at this point, it's it's looked a bit crazy. It always kind of looked crazy, but the fact that sustaining with teams on the left hand side like Conquer, uh, like Edibro, you know, teams that were uh, in those relegation spots and battling to just to stay in the division. Oh. Is that one on the goal line, Han Salino able to find it? And those are always the tough ones, Sin, where it's just, it just feels like you got to get more, you get a little bit more luck on your side of things, no matter how well you might be set up positionally. Playmaker has a chance, I think, at the side of the goal. Some nervous moments here for Havu in the early stages of the second period. Yeah, pressure continuing to mount us for Lynn to take it all the way back to get that reset and trying to work this breakout. Beautiful pass. Fire Kugin went for the between the legs. Stifled there, though, by Nasu Stelia. Been all for Linda so far in terms of the attacking zone time in this second period. Again, reset the quick out. Great job there. By Dominoid Dean just missed time to fill it good. Yeah, the second half, it looks like they're going to try to get some pushback, some counterattack pressure, be able to set up in the zone. Something something negative happens either for Linda to knock the puck off and counterattack themselves, or like you saw right there, an offside leading to a face off in the neutral zone. Puck into the corner. Good chop there to keep the possession alive for Havu. DDD one timer blocked by his own man in front. Alonso the pass over. Villacoon throws it on. Nervous moments again there. For Kape, he was able to play it with the paddle. That one could have snuck five hole. Yeah, it's been a bit interesting. Some of these bouncing pucks since the reset. A couple uh, in going towards Hanselino. Those ones uh, going towards Kape right there. So goalies having to be sharp here. And that can be tough to do uh, going through resets. You kind of can drop out of your zone. Especially, I feel like, for you know, a goaltender who's got to be locked in at all times. Again, Havu trying to get something going. Polanzo's pass off the mark. Good poke check, though, by Villicu. On the back, wrap around, loose puck, and again, Kape able to find it. Havu's starting to get some offensive momentum, though. Yeah, and if they can compound this a little bit, lock for Linda in their own end, they could put this in some really good shape, perhaps even find this tying goal in the second period. We're already halfway through this period, kind of flying by here. And they're on able to get possession, though. The draw it is for Lunda in control, and unfortunately they're an offside. 7.50 to play here in the second period. And the speed of Potslav just died right there as he received the pass. A little bit curious as to how that happened, but it will lead to a neutral zone faceoff nonetheless. The draw, another win for Eki. Right, right back down to him. Battle on the boards, Eki has it. Atla, exploring his options. D to D with Loimu. Good possession time again. Good pick off, though. By Dominointi to take that one away. Just about five and a half minutes to play here in the second. Pawansa tried to feed it in front. Eki able to pick that one off as well. Stretch pass denied. Havu. Failing to get back into the zone, but again, right now, this is almost classic for Linda and Havu, who will be able to break down the opposition at the blue line first. Spin, loose puck in front, and again, Kape is there, and Sin, if there is another goal, it almost seems like it's going to be one of those that's viewed as a bit more of a fluke, because this has been an incredibly competitive game so far. Absolutely, and you've seen some of how some of the bounces are working, too. They're kind of seeming a little bit hectic. What a save there from Kapi as Billy Coon crept into that slot and took a shot on from the hash marks. Close calls again. 3-28 to go. Yeah, just 71% passing in this period for Havu. Definitely need to look to clean that up. Potsloff. If we grab that off the draw, again, another offside. Yes, uh, it's really not able to settle this puck down and get clean entries either of these two teams. It's been really hard to come by here as the in the tail end of the second period. Kind of still looking for someone to grab a distinct advantage as Verlinda really had in the first one, but we might see it here. Juanzo tripping someone up and Verlinda will get their first power play opportunity, I believe, of this matchup. I think it was just them taking all the penalties in the first game. See what Fralunda is able to do here. 11th ranked power play entering today against the 6th ranked PK of Havu Gaming. Off 
the draw. Habu has it. Sibelius off of the face of his former captain. Billy Coon just trying to bull rush his way towards goal for Linda to survive. Linda now set up in the attacking zone once more. Making for Potsloff, back for Loimu. Good movement. Potsloff looking. Loose puck in front. Great job there, Sibelius. Crucial positioning. Flyer Kunkin can't hold it. Playmaker shot. A great save on Salino. Seeing that one through the traffic. And a few moments of this power play. Loimu gets it back. Playmaker shot. It's in. It's being waved off, though. And we'll see as to why. I'm not sure why. I kind of agree with the thought of goalie interference, maybe? No goal. Huh. And it stays a one to nothing lead for Ferlinda. Huh. Is the perfect response. My only thought is maybe it was a kick, but yeah. I, I, th I thought I saw Eki going with the poke uh, on the side of the net. Hard to say. I didn't see any contact with the goaltender, but nonetheless, it just remains a one goal lead. Final few seconds, and that will do it. That errant pass goes all the way back. We will hopefully get another look at that replay. Regardless, a one to nothing lead for Falunda heading in to the third period. It's a big old highlight right there. <laughs> of course, that's got to be the highlight of the period with them trying to make the scoreboard match uh, after the reset. <laughs> and of course, that's the one highlight that we see as well. Oh, good stuff. Um, so, yeah, that was a weird second period, to say the least. A lot of weird bounces. And then finally, when it started to get settled, it was uh, an odd called back goal, which maintains just the one goal advantage for Ferlinda off the goal they scored 24 seconds in to the first period, which at this point seems like eons ago with the reset. But, yeah, I don't understand how that's called back. I mean... Oh, man, yeah, maybe it was the left leg. If they could please move it forward. It looked like the guy on the far side may have, yeah, kicked it in at the last moment rather than poking it. We didn't get to see the full follow through. Yeah. I'm thinking that was indeed kicked in. So a lucky break there for Havu, perhaps. They still trail by one here as the... Technically now, since I believe our third period is underway here again upon a, a, another restart, unfortunately, between these two teams. So, third period underway with that one nothing lead intact for Forlunda again. ECL Elite Division action right here. Primetime on Sundays as we have had this season. Shout out to our sponsors at Wilhelm. So, I can see an ST Hockey. They make this happen. Good blocker saved by Hans Lino off of a great shot from Loimu. They make it. Otzloff able to hold Oof. on to fire. Kungen gets absolutely decked by Sibelius. Sibelius has it. I am a little bit, a little bit miffed with uh, Sibelius for not having his player style in game replicate that famous clip. Yeah. With his incredible strides once upon a time. But he's going to get on him about that from the Habu side of things. We make her back to the point. That one blocked. Great job. Now Dominoiti. He's going to go back. Seven minutes gone already here in this third period. Habu yet to get on the board despite scoring three goals in that first contest. And just being completely stifled for Lunda. Certainly getting their defensive game going. And again, the lack of penalties. And to help out Havu, certainly a factor at this stage. Again, Havu will be forced to reset. Ten and a half minutes to play. Again, keep in mind, because of the restart and how the team's elected to play, the real-time final minute not in effect. Perhaps have less time you would typically have. Lagoon back for Dominoiti and Sin. There it is. A trip. Habu 
for the power play. And that was Eki right there. So at this stage, every single person on the team of Fralunda has gone and sat two minutes in the box in this series here. And that's a key, key time now to, uh, for Hava to be able to perhaps capitalize on this power play. A huge kill for Fralunda. Flyer Kungen on the draw. They do win it here. Dominoiti's shot doesn't go through. Polanzo back into the slot. Potsloff, what a keep in. By Sibelius. Billy Coon quick give and goes. Dominoiti for Polanzo. Goes back to the point with Nasus Stelia. Sibelius. Working the defense. Seabay shot just wide. Polanzo trying to drive. That one off the side of the goal and cleared out. For Havosin, it looked like they realized for London was going to have that primary option covered, but maybe not so confident with the second and third looks. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, couldn't, didn't really see them taking a, a shot from the point either to get that uh, uh, the net crash either. So just not a whole lot going for him on this power play. We are back to five on five. And Sibay ill-timed pass. Flyer Kungen just couldn't get it. Great job by Sibelius to make up for his mistake. But just like that, five and a half to play. Havu need a goal here. But we'll see a 2-2 split amongst the points. This one down into the Havu zone. Alonso, a little bit of space perhaps. Shot doesn't get through. Second chance on the doorstep. And Billy Coon. A little bit of hesitation, maybe reaction time. Not quite where it needed to be to take advantage of a golden opportunity. Yeah, wasn't quite expecting that puck to bounce straight to his stick. And Kaipu was able to get back square up to the shot and make a massive save. For Lunda have it. This one sent down. Playmaker will win the foot race. All the way around to the left. Eki again right back around. Precious time. Being ticked off the clock here for Havu. Could be one of their final rush attempts. Having to slow it down a bit. Dominoiti nowhere to go. Potsloff can't clear nor can Eki. And here we go, final minute. It's gonna be fast. Puck held in, Nasa Stelia. For Dominoiti, back to him. D to D, Sibelius looking. Final eight seconds, turns it over. Potsloff can't clear. Held in for the moment. Loose puck in the corner to the point. Nasa Stelia, shoot, saved by Cape. And for Alunda, hold on. To get two points here, a one to nothing victory. For them, a great bounce back performance after dropping points in that first game. Yeah, absolutely huge. They only score one goal in that one, but they are very, very happy to get the win and pretty happy to stay out of the box for the most part. Just that one infraction from Eki, but yeah, they'll definitely want to take a look and clean up some of that discipline moving forward, especially as they we move closer and closer towards the playoffs. Those are, those are mistakes that you're not going to be able to. Uh, to make uh, at that stage, especially against a team like Atrids as well. They definitely know that. They're going to look to be you know, cleaning that stuff up. They're, they can't be happy with that first game performance. They feel probably like they live like one, it, at least one, but probably two points get away from them with the sheer amount of penalties that they took in that first one. Again, two out of the three goals scored by Habu in that first game came on the power play, and it was a three to two score line at the end of the day. So uh, all in all, pretty, pretty, uh, Pretty good back and forth here between the two teams that, you know, the fierce rivalry continues. Flyer Kungen with Verlunda here, but Havu, you know, getting a big two points out of this game and, you know, moving up to now six, six, and four on the season. But points, are, you know, points are points nonetheless here. And seeing some, that's that last opportunity there. I like the delay coming out. Delay, try to get that lane, try to, you know, get the uh, aim. Maybe could have had time to get, take a quick slap shot, have a bit more of a chance to beat Kape there, but. You know, last ditch effort from Havu uh, came up short. Says, uh, "Yep." I mean, a, a high quality goal, a goal yeah. of the highest of standards there to uh, to kick things off. Of course, yeah. We, we need the zoom in, zoom out on his nameplate. Uh, <laughs> shout out to King of Apes in chat, who I think is still lurking. <laughs> the, ultimate, the ultimate trolling, and I love it tremendously. Uh, yeah. Tim, with that, I mean, we could sit here and dissect this. Uh, regardless, two points, decent result for Havu, as we talked about their schedule in yeah. theory. Gets a little bit easier as we move forward. We'll see how that affects them. But 
for now, after the restarts, we might as well say we're running overtime. Let's get out of here while we can. Sin and I will be back tomorrow again, 1945 CEST. Two more rather important matchups at this mm -hmm. stage. Stargazing trying to battle their way back again, their first season in the elite division, trying to take points off of Conquer, who have been the surprise of the season so far. And YMCA Esports take on the Fallon Coal Miners, both teams as well. Maybe not in the situation they would have expected. So again, Sin and I will be back right here tomorrow, 1945 CEST, about 1.45 p.m. Eastern. For those of you on the North American side of things that have joined us, we will be back tomorrow. Of course, you can catch Sin on Twitter, Sin for the Win Prod. You can catch him on, uh, oh, you can catch him on the Spotify side of things, can't you as well? At Paul Cinders. Check him out. He's going to blow up and we're going to lose him here. And that's, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll have the likes of, We'll have the likes of B Major to fill in and a lot of other great talents, but it just won't be the same. So enjoy him for while you got him. Find me everywhere at 2K24. Big thank you to everybody behind the scenes that helps make this uh, broadcast, of course, what it is. And shout out to me for not dying from that ridiculous coughing attack a little bit ago. Very happy to still be here. And we'll be happy to be with you tomorrow. We'll see you then. Sportsgamer.gg. We'll catch you next time.